Well, with the issue of immigration at the forefront, can you imagine a day maybe as early as 10 years from now when the majority of Georgia farms are being run by robots? Sounds like science fiction, right? Truth be told, as we speak, both the University of Georgia and Georgia Tech are working on technology that could change the industry as we know it. Damon Jones has the story. While agriculture has always been looked at as the foundation of society, it's also by far the biggest business in the state of Georgia. For that reason, producers are always looking for any advantage they can find as the world's population continues to rise. We all know we got to double food production by the year 2050. There's no more land, there's no more water. So we got to double yield in essence, uh, whether it's animal yield or plant yield. Uh, so that's gonna have to happen with technology. With that in mind, the University of Georgia's College of Environmental Sciences has begun to reevaluate the curriculum and how it's being taught as a new breed of student enters the program. Uh, agricultural research and teaching has always been fairly straight and narrow. How do, we, how do we maximize production? How do we maximize yields, maximize profits, reduce the impact on the environment? But what I'm starting to see now is a really divergent interest in our students and it's being backed up by the ag agricultural research. And what better way to learn about new technology than collaborating with one of the top schools in that field. In fact, Georgia Tech has so many innovative products they don't quite know how to best utilize all of them. And so they've come to us and they've asked what are some of the real practical and applied problems in agriculture that we can apply our technologies to. So we've really ramped up our association with Georgia Tech and there's some great collaboration that is moving along pretty quickly right now. One of the things Dean Engel is most excited about is an advanced weather system that can help farmers plan much more effectively than if they just use the National Weather Service. Well, there's some new analytics available through some of these real large companies that have developed much more powerful weather forecasting tools. So they can, for instance, tell you, or will be able to tell you within a 90% probability of two days from now, will it rain on your farm? The use of unmanned systems has also seen a major advancement over the past few years. However, the best is still yet to come. But they're just some incredible things that will be happening over the next five years with drones. Um, you know, I've seen weed, weed control would be one of them, but uh, probably more early than that will be a lot of environmental monitoring for diseases, nutrient deficiencies, uh, drought stress within a, a crop. And if that wasn't enough, the use of robotics in agriculture might not be as far off as you would think. So I, I predict that within five to 10 years, we're gonna have robots in fields in Georgia, planting, transplanting, and harvesting many of our crops. Now, not all of them, some will always have to be done by hand. So with all the resources and dedicated staff, it's safe to say there will be plenty of groundbreaking developments to come out of the state in the near future. Georgia can become the, the high-tech capital of agriculture in the world. You know, we've, we've got the University of Georgia here, one of the best ag schools in the country. We've got Georgia Tech, which is one of the best technology schools anywhere in the world. And with them working together, it seems like this ought to be the place where this new age of agriculture and the high technology side can begin. Reporting from Macon, I'm Damon Jones for the Georgia Farm Monitor.